Welcome to C video tutorial. In this video, I am going to deal with the C decision control statement. So, what is this decision control statement? These are the group of statements that are executed when the condition is true. Suppose if the condition is false, then else part statements are executed. These are nothing but the decision control statements. There are three types of decision making control statements in a C language. They are if statement, second one is if else statement and the third one is nested if statement. So these are the three types of decision making control statement in a C language. Suppose if you want to check for any condition and the statement have to get executed, then we are going to use this three types of decision making control statements in order to make a decision. So Coming to the if, is, if statements. So, what do you mean by this if statement? In if control statement, respective block of code is executed when condition is true. Suppose if the condition is true only, the statement will get executed or else it doesn't get executed. The syntax for the if statement is as follows. That is a if. If is nothing but it is an one of the keyword followed by the condition. Condition means what the condition we are going to check. That is a nothing but the condition. And the followed by the opening braces. Then the statements. Statements can be a single statement or a multiple statements. It, it is a respect to the user wish. And the uh, finally, it is a closing with the flower braces. So, why this opening and the uh, closing braces are used? These are used to group uh, declarations uh, and the statements together uh, into a block. We will consider this as a one block. This which and all uh, in between the opening and closing braces, we consider it as a block of statements. Okay, this is a syntax that is a if condition followed by the opening flow braces statements. It, it may be a single statements or a multiple statements and finally ending with the flow braces. Suppose here, the suppose the condition is true. In case of if the condition is true, the statement will get executed whatever there in the block. This block will get executed. Suppose if the condition is false, this statement will not get executed. It will skip and the following statement whatever they after the closing process, it will get executed. This is nothing but the if statement. Suppose if the condition is true only, the statement will get executed or else the statement doesn't get executed in case of a if statement. I will give one program example so that you will come to know the what is meant by if statement. Going to use a First, there is a hash include stdio dot h followed by the main function and uh, let me say int uh, m uh, equal to twenty comma n equal to twenty. Okay. Now, I will use the if condition, see the syntax, that is if followed by the condition, I am going to give the condition as strictly equal to n. So, then it is followed by the opening flower braces. Now, I am going to give a statement, say the printf, that is a m and n are equal. And ending with the semicolon. Remember that always the statements have to be ended with a semicolon. And next, closing with the flower braces. Now, next I am going to get ch. Or else you can give any of the statement would get executed of the flower braces. Let me say printf. Mm, hence proved. Okay, I will give. Uh, 
I will give let me say hi only okay because in order to get you know that following statement get executed okay now I am going to compile this nothing but it is a uh, if statement if program I will write if program dot C is compiling now and the no errors are found I will going to run it so the M and N are equal the high which is a statement are given after the closing braces so this statement will be get executed even though if the condition is true also even though if the condition is false also this following statement will get executed let me give this in a next line Okay, these are get executed. Suppose if it is not a equal. Okay. No errors are found. Hi. Why it is going to print high now? Because the condition is false. Because it will check for the condition whether m is equal to n. Say m 20 is equal to 10. No, no. 20 is not equal to 10. So this statement will get uh, skipped. And the following statement after the flow braces, that is the after the flow braces, it is going to print that is a high. Okay. Hope you understand this uh, if statement uh, very well. I will meet you in the next video. That is the uh, next is a if else statement uh, in the next video. Until then, bye.